Well, hello everybody. We're gonna do another video today, going camping. It's just kind of an impromptu camp out. There's Jerem. Hi, Jerem. Hi. And his friend Devin. And uh, they uh, kind of convinced me that we're gonna go camping today, take the boat Nobo out. Today's the first time that I will be dragging this trailer with my new tires. Got 37 inch, changed out my fenders. And I added an inch lift, so this uh, Nobo is probably not going to be sitting very level. Let's see, I got a, a level here, and it is way out of level. So that means we're going to be having to get a different gooseneck here in the near future to get that a little bit further down. But uh, anyway, getting ready to go. We're going to be taking uh, Sherry with us today, and we're going to go to Babylon, which is a... Uh, kind of an old ghost town area outside of St. George, in between Hurricane and St. George. We'll uh, take you along for the ride. All right, so I wanted to go back and talk about this a little bit, just in case you're not aware. So you can see the bubble on this thing is way off level. I didn't get that. Could you try again? <laughs> Siri's trying to talk to me. Um, what happens with this trailer that I've noticed if you're not running level when you run at higher speeds it starts to wobble and um, it's just easier because of how small the wheelbase is it's just easier to to make sure that you got that level so in this case we're gonna have to get a little longer gooseneck there because I've added about two inches of height with the 37 inch tires and with the uh, one inch lift on it um, I'm also curious to see how this is going to pull uphill because I notice a big difference with the 37 inch tires on my engine. And so I don't know how well it's going to actually work as we're dragging it up hills. So be interesting. Thanks. Hey, so uh, we're uh, heading out, going to the Babylon now. Right now we just got finished gassing up. Here's Devin. Hi, Devin. And we got Jerem. And there's mom. Finally got her ready. So what are you guys looking forward to? Uh, the old burned out mansion? Yeah. We'll show everybody that when we get there. I'm looking forward just to chilling and not doing any work for a little while because it has been a busy few weeks. So. Anyway, we'll stop the video and uh, we'll take some more as we well. side of Leeds and uh, you take pretty much your first right after you're out of the town. Um, it's past the post office and past the uh, area to go up to Silver Reef. Silver Reef is a cool little ghost town up there too that actually has been turned into a, a new modern uh, community. So uh, a little bit of the old into the new. It's kind of a fun place though. Anyway, we'll just uh, drive through Leeds here and show you how to get to Babylon. just uh, entered into the conservation area. 
sand's actually pretty packed today. We just had some snow and rain this last week, and so not too bad. There's actually a lot of vehicles up here today, a lot of cars. So, make me feel a little better about things. He's gonna pull over. Make it a little tougher right here. Am I good? Yeah. All right. So there's a couple of mines that are around here too that are fun to look at. You guys want to go look at this mine up here? Sure. All right. So we'll pull over here at this first place. There's a there's an old mine that's up here on the mountain over on the left hand side. Take a look at it. Yeah, right up yeah, there. Yeah, someone just randomly sees like a hill and like, let's dig into it. <laughs> well, they usually are finding stuff that lets them know that there's a, a mine there. So a lot of this was silver and copper and iron. We'll go take a look. Yes. So we're getting ready to go for a walk. Rain's getting ready. Uh, we just passed a sign that said no trailers recommended beyond this point. Um, Hopefully that won't be uh, a bad omen. We're gonna try it anyway. So, <laughs> whose dog is this cute little dog? Hi, Rain. You wanna go exploring? We can let Rain into the mine. Yeah, see how far he goes. Go, buddy. <laughs> All right. Here's the mine. Closed off, locked up, so none of us fools can get stuck down in there. But anyway, kind of a cool place to to see. Hi, Sherry. Nice neck collar you got there. Just in case you get COVID up here. <laughs> it's a nice view up here. So uh, we're up here on the top of the hill and found this rock. You can see right there the green, that's copper. And uh, there's some more of it. We found more traces of it down there <laughs> next to the rabbit poop. <laughs> but uh, there's other traces of copper I'm looking for other things. Silver is usually blue when you look for it, but this one's copper. It's just, just flaking off in my hand right now. Yeah, it's beautiful views. The boys have walked around the other side. There's, there's multiple little entrances around here. If you look right where I was at, showing that copper rock, there's a little marker on the rock there there's a couple of those and underneath there is where the uh, mine entrance is um, don't know if it was just an air hole or if that's actually another entrance that was covered up versus the entrance that we're standing at but uh, you can see up there there's another one on the rock another marker showing you that there's another entrance there there's a couple of them around here on the side it's kind of fun what do you think rain I think he just needs a drink. Ah. So just underneath the cave, we found this little like fortification or a corral, maybe for the horses or something, or maybe somebody just got bored and wanted to stack rocks. But this is a pretty cool little, little fort. <laughs> you can see it's got a good view of everything. Pretty cool. <laughs> Probably should have brought our metal detector. You guys are finding some cool things. Oh yeah. It's a cool rock. See it? It's got a weird printing on the Turn back on the other it. side. It's got a weird printing on the back. Ooh, it does. It's almost like a maybe it's a petrified dinosaur scale. It almost it almost looks like a Crackle egg or something. Here. Cool. Yeah. This is a cool rock. It'd be a cool place to spend the night. 
kind of gives you a bed. There's like a little spot down there, like a little cave entrance. Oh, is it? Yeah. You think it's a critter entrance? Probably. But it gives you a nice little overhang and keep you dry during the elements. Actually, if the rain was coming down in a mango, it'd get you anyway, but kind of a cool little place. So the sign back there said they did not suggest that trailers come down here so far this has been pretty easy but i know during the different parts of the season um, right now the road is pretty compact but uh, over different parts of the season this, this gets really muddy or also really sandy so you just gotta kind of watch it um, and know your limitations and stuff but right now this is really easy to get the trailer down to i know as we get down here into babylon we're going to crest this hill and, start heading down a really steep hill and then once we get it in the bottom of there it's really sandy. Okay, so we're here at Babylon and we have camped here before. Maybe we weren't supposed to. There are signs now that post it that is, there is no camping. And so um, the sign over here says that um, if you're gonna do any camping, if it's by permit only and over at the primitive campground over the Sand Cove, which is a gorgeous campsite, to, uh, you do it. But I think you need at least three days prior notice. If I remember right, you have to, you can't get any permits. Um, up to three days before you go camping. So it's none of that, hey, let's just go camping type thing. You usually have to get permits and stuff to go, but it is a beautiful campsite. But uh, we are here at the Babylon Mansion area. The boys went out and explored, but uh, I think we're just gonna head back out and go find another campsite somewhere. And maybe, I'm not really sure where. <laughs> we're just gonna go find something. So that's the fun thing with having the no boundaries and stuff. Uh, the camper, we can pretty much just overland and go wherever we want. But um, we uh, are going to go check out the dinosaur tracks, and there are some petroglyphs we're going to go see. All right, here's the old mansion. And as far as I understand, this uh, structure here was standing here before. It's one of the old structures well, when this was a town. I'll take a picture of the information kiosk. But uh, what I understand is Babylon was originally set up um, outside and on the other side of the Virgin River of St. George. And it was where those that called themselves Gentiles <laughs> or non-Mormons are members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, which I am a member of. Um, they, uh, didn't, they didn't want to um, mingle with the Mormons. Um, they wanted to do drinking and, and brothels and stuff like that, which the Mormons didn't have and, and the miners wanted. And so they, would, they created their own little town here in this little valley. And this was what they called Babylon. <laughs> aptly named because of the stuff that happened and went on here but uh anyway we didn't catch it on video but as i'm coming around this corner you see down that steep hill there we just we just ran up that i wanted to see how the uh, jeep would do with the no bow on it and uh, we made it just fine it was uh it was fun i wish i would have had it playing because my wife was freaking out going oh jason don't do it but we did it but uh you can see the virgin river down there and uh just a gorgeous little canyon area. Now look at these rock. That is a uh, that is chiseled and carved um, lava rock. 
that's been stacked and mortared. This would have been a really, really impressive home had it ever been finished. Now that's all left is a bunch of steel, concrete, rebar, and uh, <laughs> this is kind of funny. Um, last time I was up here, that says, love Mormons. But last time I was here, I don't think it said love. <laughs> so, some, some crude people came up and painted that and somebody else made it nicer. That was nice of them. <laughs> so, anyway, but yeah, now it looks like it was just a place that maybe too many people were partying on. And uh, we, had, uh, we had come here and camped before. Um, my wife was just telling me she didn't think we actually spent the night, we just hung out during the day, so maybe we actually didn't camp here. But it uh, seemed like it would have been a great place to camp. I wish they would open it up. But maybe too many people got crazy. Unfortunately, that's what happens. You know, and just to remind everybody, you know, you got to be responsible when you're out here, when you're out camping. You can't do stuff like this. Leave toilet paper laying around, beer cans, and and stuff like that. I mean, when you do that, you think, well, it'll just, somebody will pick it up, but it doesn't, it sits here for a long time. And and uh, then it ruins it for everybody because eventually they shut places down where it's fun for people to go visit and see. But because you were not being thoughtful and you leave your garbage here like this. See somebody's made a big fire pit here and inside the thing and there's even a big pillow in there. And last time I was here, there was a mattress, so you can understand kind of some of the shenanigans that probably happen here. So probably a reason why they don't let people camp here. Just irresponsible people that try to use the land. So just keep that in mind, you know, be responsible so we can enjoy it. All of us can enjoy it, not just you for one night. Okay, so as you come up here, dinosaur tracks are right there in front of us you can see right there 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 and there's another set here and there's another set here there's another set down there but it's pretty evident when you see these dinosaur tracks this um <coughs> used to be just a mud flat and that dinosaur ran across here and a bigger one right there next to it isn't that so cool isn't that awesome? Okay, right there. Yeah, you see those tracks? Look how cool that is. Some critter millions of years ago was dropping across to a mud flat that is now sitting on a mountain. Isn't that cool? I bet you this mountainside is covered with them. Yeah, those are some serious dinosaur tracks. Those are way cool. Ah, just blows you away thinking about it. There's another mine over here. You, anytime you see something like this, those are called tailing piles. And sometimes you'll just uh, be driving around and you'll see all of a sudden, just looks like dirt that was pulled up, like a big mole pulled it up. That's usually a mine. You can stop and find a mine just right by it. So sometimes when you're driving by a mountain, you'll look up and you'll see all of a sudden this big <laughs> pile of dirt coming off the side of the mountain you think well that's weird it's actually a mine so the, the miners would bring the uh, the material out of the mine which is back in there uh, usually on a cart and then just start dumping it over the side of the a cliff until it fills up and then they go out over the top of that and dump it and go out top of that and dump it and uh, so if you look in that you'll probably find either silver or copper don't know what was on this one How far back does it go? Very, very, very far back. Do you have your light on? Turn your light back on. Doesn't really do much. No, it doesn't do anything. But yeah, you can see pretty far back there. Huh? Yeah. Dang, I wonder if there's another entrance somewhere. Probably. So uh, they pointed out the boys when they were up here. They're always out exploring, trying to find some cool things. But I'm sure in this mountain behind us, you're gonna find dinosaur tracks. There's the uh, mine right there. And uh, but right over here, there's another structure. That probably would have been the miner's little house. 
his little hovel. I'm not sure, but would have had some something over it and somewhere to keep him warm at night. So kind of a cool place. Hello. So uh, we always forget to show the setup. Sherry's made us some fajitas. Oh, if you don't have a fajita, yeah. I am. Um, oh, you can get your own fajita. You they took their shoes off because we don't let them put it in there. You got some stuff on your face. You got guacamole on your face. Are you yeah. actually going to put this up? Uh huh. No. <laughs> and why are you sitting in the, in the uh, camper? Because you're afraid of the bugs? <laughs> Rain's looking for some food. Hi, huh, buddy. But. Uh, you can see we got the tent up now. I'm gonna back up here. Sorry, take you for a little walk here. But we've showed this plenty of times, but this makes for a fun camp area. We uh, had to come up the road, get out of the conservation area. You can still see civilization over there, but Pine Mountain, but we're still in a beautiful camp spot here. Some nice cedars. And our bathroom is back there behind the cedars. But um, anyway, should be for a good night. And uh, we'll uh, get ready, play some games. And I think the kids are going to go out. They found another mine. They're going to go try to explore here in a minute. So just going to have a good night. Well... Good morning. We just woke up and uh, cheering. Want a treat? Kind of watching the sunrise and getting some hot water going for some oatmeal and, and uh, hot chocolate. But, uh, cool. It was a good night's sleep. I think I got a good night's sleep. Sherry said she didn't sleep too well. But uh, anyway, yeah. It's morning. All right. So we decided to go for a walk. And uh, just walking down to where the reserve's at. Hi, Sherry. Hello. <laughs> Rain uh, put his collar on him and his leash on him so we could take him for a walk. He uh, has had freedom all night. And he didn't really want to have the leash on today. He was fighting it for a while. It's funny. But man, look at that view. So we came up here at the top of this hill and we found a mine, but looks like they really don't want anybody to go into that one. <laughs> they closed it off permanently. So, but again, the view is spectacular. Looks like we got a storm coming in. A couple of campers up there. We tried to get a camp spot close by, and those guys already got the best ones there. But I think by the time we found our camp spot, we really like it. Okay, you think that's a trail over there? We can go try it. We found another, there's a bunch of tailing piles here, and uh, there's the old mine road that came up to you here, but uh, we found the other one. So the first mine that I just pointed out was right over there. And here's the second one. Again, they've uh, blocked it up. 
that old wall that's been put up to hold back some soil but it's interesting that is a small hole for such a large tailings pile so there's a lot of soil that came out of there i'm wondering if it probably went down deeper and they've filled it in or it's been filled in uh, just with rain and soil but it should that should be a bigger hole for as much tailings in there but i think we're gonna go walk down over this way and see where this uh just about twist my ankle see uh, where this trail goes Yeah, just really nice rock formations, huh? Is there any mine or anything there? I don't see any tailings here, but oh yeah. You could looks like somebody's had a campfire under there at one time. That's kind of a cool little place to hide. Anyway, we're gonna keep walking. So we just uh, come up on another little fort and uh, don't know why this is here. Just a little rock wall as we were coming around the corner. And there's really nothing here to hide it, but I looked up on the hill and there's a marker or a fence post or something. I have to go explore that. Okay, I'm gonna be huffing and puffing. Cause that was a steep climb. Yeah. Can you see Sherry down there? <laughs> anyway, whew, it's a beautiful view up here. Now I'm up here on the hill, found uh, some cool rock formations over here that uh, I didn't see before because we were down below them. But I think I'm gonna make my way over here and see what they, what they are. But as I was coming up, I found a couple of little hidden forts. It, I don't know if they're Native American, but they're places just big enough for a person to sit up underneath in a crevice. And then the rocks would totally hide their spot. You wouldn't, I mean, I didn't see them when I was down below, but uh, you can see them when you get on them uh, and up and on them, but it'd be a, be a cool place for somebody to hide if they want to. Yeah, this looks interesting. Look at that. I'm gonna go check it out. Yeah, just as I stop the video, I come walk around the corner and look, there's another one. Just really interesting. Just these stacked rocks. And look, we're just above that mine that we were at before. So just a stacked wall fortification. And if you were running from a posse or something, it'd be a great defensive area but there's those rocks let's go check them out come on rain watch for the cactus i had to pull cactus needles out of him before for some reason he wanted to go sniff one he figured out that you uh you don't sniff them <laughs> yeah look at this little crevices little places oh look there used to be a a wall right here too Somebody built one up. See, this is what I was talking about. <laughs> you know, it's just interesting. Cause that, that's a leftover wall. And look at this one. It's just big enough for a person maybe to lay down in there. Just for some cover. I don't know. Hey Rain, where'd you go? Here you are. Up, ups. What'd you find? Oh, look at this. Yep. Oh, it looks like a geocache. That's what this is. Nope, maybe not. It's just a marker for something. There's nothing inside that pipe. But I don't know. Woo! Gorgeous, gorgeous. We are camped way up there. Well, it's right back there. 
where we're at, down underneath some trees. <sighs> Time to make the hike back up there. Well, so we got it all packed up. Getting ready to head out. I think we got, uh, we got the swimming pool being warmed up and we're gonna go back and have a good swim. Did you have a good time? Yeah. How was the uh, night's sleep up there? All right, wasn't bad. <laughs> wasn't the best? No, it wasn't. But it wasn't all the worst. <laughs> good. Okay, Jaren, we ready? Okay. <laughs> So we just started unloading. We're back here at the house and we found something. Found uh, three screws sitting on the ground and guess what's coming off the ceiling here. It's uh, bounced around enough that it just totally stripped the screws out of there. So we got to figure out a better way to attach that uh, air conditioner to the uh, ceiling. So just so you guys know for future. <laughs> 